I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on inverse of relations. In this video, we have taken up examples related to circles and ellipse and we'll try to find inverse of these relations. Part A is x square plus y square equals to 9 and B is x plus 2 whole square plus y square equals to 25. There are four parts. Let's try to understand one by one. So when I say x square plus y square equals to 9, we are talking about a circle with radius of 3 units, right? So, so that is a circle where the radius is 3. So from this diagram itself, you can write down domain and range for the given function, right? We need to state domain range for each relations. So for x square plus y square equals to 9, we know that the, the domain is that the value of x is between plus and minus 3. And value of y is also between plus and minus 3. So now let's find the inverse. Now, in case of inverse, the domain and range will flip, right? So, the domain will be, the value will be between plus and minus 3. And the range will also be between plus and minus 3. So, when you swap, you get the same domain and range. Now, to find the relation which is the inverse, we need to isolate y after swapping x and y. So let's swap first. So we get y square plus x square equals to 9. And then we have y square equals to 9 minus x square, y square equals to, so we can say y is square root of 9 minus x square plus and minus. So we can write this inverse as plus and minus square root of 9 minus x square. So clearly from here you can say that the domain is between plus and minus 3, right? Otherwise, the square root thing will not be valid, right? So that is how you find the inverse of a circle. Now here is the second part to it. This is a circle where the center has been shifted to minus 2, 0, right? So this circle is kind of like this, where the center is at minus 2, the radius is 5. So, so we could write something like, like this, right? So let me sketch like this. Where this point, which is the center, is at minus 2, Radius is 5, so this will be at minus 7, right? And this will be at 3. Okay. As far as the range is concerned, the maximum and the minimum will be at plus and minus 5, correct? So, for the given relation, domain is when x is between minus 7 and 3. As far as the range is concerned, the y value will be between plus and minus 5. Correct? Okay. Let's find inverse of this relation. So we swap, we get y plus 2 whole square plus x square equals to 25. So we have y plus 2 whole square equals to 25 minus x square y plus 2 equals to plus minus square root of 25 minus x square y equals to minus 2 plus minus square root of 25 minus x square right so we get the inverse here as equal to minus 2 plus minus square root of 25 minus x square now for this the domain will be range right of the function. So you see this absolute value of x has to be less than or equal to 5. Clear? Right? As far as the range is concerned, when this is 5, 
we have minus 2 here, right? So we get the range as between minus 7 and 3, right? Or you could write absolute value of x minus 2 is less than or equal to 5. So that is how we can write domain range of this particular function, right? Relation rather. Now here are two more parts to it which are for you to practice. I'd like you to pause the video, answer these questions and then look into my suggestions. Now in this particular case, we do have a circle once again where the center is at 3 minus 2, right? So let's make a circle here. The center is at 3 minus 2, right? So, so this is at 3 minus 2, the center. And the radius is 9 units. Is that clear to you? Now, if that is the case, so from 3, the maximum could be at 12, and the minimum will be add. So from 3, if you go this side, you get 6, right? So we see that the domain of this particular function is between 6 and 12. As far as range is concerned, right, so we are looking into these two values. This is minus 2. So, so here, it is going to be 7, right? So maximum value is going to be the 7 and the minimum value minus 2 and 9 will give us uh, minus 11. So that is going to be the range, right? For the inverse, you need to flip this. Perfect. Now let's see how to find inverse of this function. Uh, sorry, relation, right? These are not functions. These are all relations. So you swap and you get y minus 3 whole square plus x plus 2 whole square equals to 81. So that gives you y minus 3 whole square equals to 81 minus x plus 2 whole square. Or we can write y equals to, when you do square root, you get plus minus 81 minus x plus 2 whole square and this 3 taken on that side will give you 3, right? So the inverse clearly is equal to 3 plus minus square root of 81 minus x plus 2 whole square. Some of you can also expand and simplify this portion, but I'll leave it like this, right? Now, as far as the inverse is concerned, these values will swap, correct? So you can write down the domain range of inverse so the domain here will be minus 11 to 7 and the range will be between 6 and 12 clear so for the inverse we can write domain as between minus 11 to 7 right and as far as the range is concerned it is going to be between 6 and 12. Mm, just wait. So when you go 9 this side of 3, it should be, sorry, minus 6. Minus 6 and 12, right? So total has to be 18, correct? Diameter is 18. Perfect. Okay. The last question here is, x squared plus 4y squared equals to 24. So let's find the inverse first. So we'll swap and write y square plus 4x square equals to 25, right? So y square equals to 25 minus 4x square. So y is plus minus square root of 25 minus 4x square. Clear? So in this particular case, the domain of inverse, so the inverse is plus minus square root of 25 minus 4x square. So as far as the inverse is concerned, the domain here is what? Well, domain is that the absolute value of x has to be less than, 
square root of 25 over 4 which is 5 over 2 clear less than or equal to right it cannot be more than this so that becomes the domain of the inverse right as far as the function uh, rather the relation is concerned so the domain here is what let's figure out what y square is uh, for the function so y square is basically uh, 25 minus x square divided by this is 4y square okay, let's write it in two steps so y will be 1 fourth of uh, square root of all this right so 1 fourth of 25 minus x square square root with plus and minus sign which is equal to we could write this as half outside uh, within square root of 25 minus x square right plus minus correct so as far as the domain of the function is concerned so the domain for the function is what x should be greater than or equal to I could write between plus and minus 5, basically, right? Maximum is 5. So, so as far as the domain range is concerned, you know, that swaps, correct? So, as far as the range is concerned for the inverse, I could write this as absolute value of x is less than or equal to 5. And here, I can write range for the function as absolute value of y is less than or equal to 5 over 2. Is that clear to you? So you could actually find domain in both the cases. Then you get the range for both the cases also, correct? So what we did was, on this side, we have the inverse, and on this side, we have the function, right? I should say the relation, right? So th these are not functions, right? These are not functions. As they fail the vertical line test, correct? So these are all relations. The inverse are also relations in this case. But I hope you understand and appreciate how we can find inverse of these relations and also how to write their domain range. Feel free to write your comments, share your views. And if you like and subscribe to my videos, that will be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.